Breaking news, next generation cell phone towers will use motion tracking as well as beam forming to improve your reception. However, what people don't know is that this beam forming means that focused radiation will be headed in your direction. Focused like a lens, focused like a laser, focused like a phaser beam from the Starship Enterprise. Who wants to get exposed by this type of radiation? Only the sheep will know, ladies and gentlemen, but as for the rest of us, we do not want to be exposed. We do not consent to this irradiation. And it's very important that people become aware of what these next generation cell phone towers are capable of. Motion tracking, like radar, like motion detectors, like alarm systems, ladies and gentlemen. And focused energy beams, phaser beams, photon beams pointed in your direction, following you wherever you go, whether you have a 5G phone or not. And who knows if these cell phone towers have been weaponized, targeting undesirable citizens. We've seen how they've weaponized other parts of our society, like government, like the justice system, like politics and the like. What makes you think that they haven't weaponized these cell phone towers to target dissidents. We have no guarantees, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, the mainstream media will never tell you the truth about anything, let alone what the telecom industry is really doing, because they're heavily dependent on telecom dollars for funding. These reporters on TV wouldn't even have a job if it wasn't for AT&T, Verizon, and the like. They have no choice but to comply with the propaganda. Don't expect any truth on the internet either. All you have to do is search on YouTube, ScrewTube, or Fakebook, or Twitter, and search for cell towers, search for 5G. It's nothing but positive, happy news. Even though, no matter where you go in America, if a death tower shows up near you, people get upset. And you don't think there's people making videos about these cell phone towers? Of course there are. But those videos just don't make it through the filters. Everything has been sanitized for your propaganda pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got lots of news to cover and you know many other things to discover when it comes to these new and improved cell phone towers that are now camouflaged like trees. Remember, every army uses camouflage. And if these things weren't weaponized, why would you need to camouflage them, ladies and gentlemen? And they're everywhere. Now you're seeing two or three per parking lot. And, you know, if we were to do a time lapse video of cell towers over the last 10 years, you would just see how big and bad ass these cell phone towers look these days compared to what they were just a few years ago, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite literally a catastrophe out there, to say the least. And I think the video guy is on vacation. But chances are you've got a cell phone tower near you. And if you don't, it's coming soon. They've just added more funding for more death towers. And just in time for the second wave, if you know what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. So they'll be coming. These cell towers will be coming to a street near you and you can't opt out. And when you think of 1776, I mean, they went to war over taxes, right? They went to war over, you know, a tea tax and the like. And, you know, here we are getting irradiated by these death towers. Here we are getting sprayed like bugs with their pesticides and their chemtrails. Here we are you know, getting vaccinated and fluoridated and, you know, it's just eugenics everywhere. And people are just watching as this continues to roll out. And let us not forget about, you know, this Wuhan super virus. They've infected everyone with their bioweapon, which is an act of war. 
by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's a reading with a tri-field meter. Retails for about $200 at Lake Tahoe. And we recommend that everybody get uh, an EMF meter. You know, pick one, find one. Just know that the El Cheapo from Home Depot isn't going to do it for you. But right now, downtown Lake Tahoe is off the scales and it's worse than a microwave oven. And how many people out there think that they should be living in an environment where it's off the scales of, you know, of these EMF meters? You know, obviously, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that this can't be good news for anyone. And there really isn't any, um, there haven't really been any updates to current regulations since the 1960s. They've kept it at a super high 10 watts per meter squared, which is 10,000 milliwatts per meter squared. That's an insane amount of radiation when you think a microwave oven is 20 milliwatts. So we're talking about, you know, 500 times worse than a microwave oven, essentially. And you look at these death towers, you look at these cell towers, you look at the amplifiers, you know, these big rectangles right here, amplifiers, like, you know, for your, you know, car stereo, but super amplifiers to pump out, you know, tons of radiation. I mean, you're just getting rained upon every day. It's really disturbing to say the least, ladies and gentlemen. I think the video guy is on vacation. Now we recommend the EMF 390. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it retails for only 129, a fraction of the cost of other meters, but it blows the other meters away as far as what it can do. We'll be getting into that as well as some of the readings that we've discovered uh, while we've been experimenting with these meters for the last year or so. And the amount of radiation has jumped considerably. We've gone from one to two milliwatts on average per you know cell tower a couple years ago to uh, 20, 40 milliwatts last year. And now the new ones are, you know, two, three, 400 milliwatts. And so we're gonna be getting into what we know. I'm not sure what the video guy is doing here. On vacation, ladies and gentlemen, no doubt about it. But here's a small town. You've got, you know, a few death, uh, a few 5G panels on the on the roof. It doesn't look that severe yet. The readings here, two, three hundred milliwatts, is huge. But I'll tell you what's huge as well is what people are getting dosed with on their phones, with their routers, with their tablets, with their laptops, with the smart meters and the like. You'd be surprised, but. You know, the feedback that we're getting uh, from listeners with the EMF 390 is that right now the readings are just, you know, off the charts. They've gone way up. Now, the tri-field meter and the gigahertz solution and the acoustic meter, which run two, three, four hundred dollars, they max out at 20 milliwatts. The EMF 390 can pick up to 10,000 milliwatts. And so you've got a much broader range, not only in terms of power uh, that's coming through the airwaves, as well as frequency spectrum. The EMF 390 goes from zero to 10 gigahertz. Now look at these new death towers, next generation. We had a real funky looking one. We'll get back to that one. But it seems like you know every parking lot now has two or three death towers nearby. And there's a reason for that. It's so that they can better target you. And they know that you, you have to go to the grocery store. They know you have to go to the restaurant. They know you have to go downtown. They know you have to go on the highway. And so they strategically place these death towers uh, to better target you. And they've got motion detection. We're picking that feature up with the uh, EMF 390 now. You can try and find like a low dose corner of the parking lot. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're just about to get out of the car and you see the thing just bleep at you. It's targeting you. It's shifting, uh, it's phasing the, uh, the beam in your direction. It's rather disturbing. It's, it's really twilight zone to see it 
in person, ladies and gentlemen. And look, if you don't have a if you don't have a meter, you're really missing out because there's a whole world there that you can't see. And it's really weird driving around. I think we've got footage. Um, you know, driving around with the, with the meter. I mean, you can all of a sudden see things that other people can't see. They're totally unaware of. You know, as they've you know, as they're wearing their masks and their um, sunglasses and trying to you know be all shady and the like. Um, they don't even know what is really going on out there. I think we've got some exclusive footage at the uh, GQ lab, GQ Electronics lab. And here they're testing out uh, the RF browser mode and you can see the perfect sine wave being picked up by the EMF 390. No other instrument uh, has this function out there, period. And it's, uh, it's exclusive to the EMF 390. But we're gonna be getting into uh, the lab and the testing and as you can see the equipment is, um, you know, professional. This is a professional instrument but at a fraction of the price. And this makes it you know, affordable for everyone. And everyone deserves to know. You know. It seems like everything that might help you is either unavailable, out of stock, or unaffordable. But the EMF 390 is affordable. It's in stock, and it'll ship uh, in just a couple days. We'll be getting into that. But here's the comparison of the tri-field meter and the EMF 390. Um, and as you can see, they're pretty much on par. Now, as as you could see with the EMF 390, uh, you know, the wave pattern isn't just a straight line. It isn't just a flat line. It isn't just a static field. It's a pulsed electromagnetic field. And that's why the numbers jump. It's not always a steady stream of ones and zeros, but sometimes, you know, there's a, a heavy download or heavy usage on the network, and sometimes there's not. But uh, this, you know, this meter is accurate it's affordable, it fits in your pocket. You don't have to wave a huge, you know, an antenna around and look like Inspector Gadget. So it has all sorts of advantages, but most of all, it's affordable. And it's good quality, um, excellent customer service, one year warranty, ships out of Seattle. And so it's, you know, it's certainly uh, a good deal. We've, we've sold quite a few of them and th there hasn't been one person that's come back and said, Oh, why did I buy that? How dare you? Instead, it's nothing but, wow, awesome, excellent, get one, got mine, you know. And look, I, I just couldn't wait to get one. And there's hardly a product out there that's like that, uh, to be quite honest with you. And the reason that we talk about it so much is because everybody needs to know what they're getting dosed with. And there is, you know, there are countermeasures that you can put in place if you can measure the radiation that you're getting dosed with. But if you can't see the radiation, there's nothing you can really do about it. And so the first step is, you know, addressing the issue, seeing the issue, and then you can test shielding options. You can test um, you know, or position yourself in a better way so that you're not being exposed or basically reducing your exposure, mitigating your exposure. That's very important, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think the video guy is on vacation. We're experiencing some technical difficulties please bear with us this is essentially a live broadcast but you know obviously they're camouflaging these weaponized death towers for a reason and they're you know basically sanitizing the information that's on the internet regarding these cell towers for a reason as well they don't want you to know how bad it is they don't want you to they don't want you thinking about what you're getting dosed with and that's why we sell the meter. We want you to think about what you're getting dosed with. We want you to know what you're getting dosed with because that's the only way you'll actually do something, whether it be put up shielding, show up at city hall, city council, protest these cell towers, organize and the like. If you don't even know what you're getting dosed with, why would you, you know, why would you do anything, ladies and gentlemen? And it's especially important with the current crisis because there's all sorts of white papers, all sorts of scientific studies linking EMF radiation to immunosuppression and essentially it attacks the white blood cells kind of like leukemia I mean that's been a, a thing that people have known about for quite some time static electric fields and leukemia but it's it's essentially the same thing with um, pulsed electric fields and driving around with you know the MF 390 is more fun than Pokemon Go we guarantee it you're gonna love it 
and it's got all sorts of modes, all sorts of displays, all sorts of metrics, whether you want to be in milliwatts per meter squared, centimeters uh, or milliwatts per centimeter squared, uh, and the like, and uh, all sorts of visual modes. It's got a, uh, a tri-field mode as well for static electric fields and magnetic fields, and you know, it just blows away the competition, ladies and gentlemen. Looks real nice too, to say the least. And I'm sure we've got other things that the video guy wants you to see before the end of this broadcast. But in any case, uh, these death towers, the new and improved ones, uh, have a much higher radiation signature than the old ones. And the more panels that you see, the worse it gets. And, you know, if we could time lapse the evolution of death towers over the last five or ten years, you would see that they've got many more, um, you know, panels than they used to. And what we've also discovered is that you don't need to be in a high radiation zone to get good reception. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you know, we've been in zones where it's 0 0.001 milliwatts and it's five bars on the 5G LTE or 4G LTE, we should say. We haven't tested out any 5G, but 4G LTE, five bars, you know, 20, 30 megabit speeds minimum with 0 0.001 milliwatts. You don't need to get dosed like this for excellent cell phone coverage. You don't need two or three death towers per parking lot. You don't need to live in an environment that's worse than a microwave oven. It's not necessary. Now, this is a video that we like to play. It's, it's from a high school experiment. You know, a class and a teacher basically did time lapse of some, you know, sprouts with the Wi-Fi off and with the Wi-Fi on. And it just shows you just how, you know, dangerous, how evil this radiation is. And, you know, if it wasn't for the big telecom dollars uh, propping up its own industry through propaganda, you know, people would have, you know, banned this technology long ago. But it's become a very important lobby and it's nearly impossible to... Uh, you know, say anything against, uh, you know, this, uh, this industry. And, you know, they're heavily invested in social media. They, they've got, uh, you know, they've got a monopoly on information. And it's not right. People deserve to know. People deserve uh, an option to uh, not be exposed to this radiation. People need to be able to opt out if they don't want to be violated by this radiation but that's not the point of it it's just like the fluoride the vaccines the gmos the pesticides the chemtrails and the like it's all out to dose you and the intent of putting these death towers where they are with the the type of capabilities they have is to irradiate you it's to slow kill you and then they can just say well it was the environment ladies and gentlemen and so, look, the studies are, are pretty clear right now that this technology is dangerous. There's hundreds of doctors, researchers, professors that are pushing back against the rollout of 5G. And you're probably we well aware of that. And despite the scientific community's um, concerns about this technology, you know, it's still rolling out at warp speed to phaser beam you like the Starship Enterprise. And they've just dumped, you know, another you know, 100 billion or whatever into 5G projects with uh, their recent spending bill. At least that was, you know, what was proposed. We'll see if they actually get that money. But they, you know, they've made it a national security priority. And there, you know, there's going to be many, many more of these death hours before you know it, ladies and gentlemen. So here you're seeing again downtown two, 300 milliwatts. Now, the, the EMF 390 has a range of about 10,000 milliwatts or 10 watts per meter squared, whereas, you know, the other meters out there cap out at 20 milliwatts. So, you know, we showed you the Lake Tahoe, how it basically maxed out at 20 milliwatts. The, the, EMF, the EMF 390 would have shown you what you were actually getting dosed with, which would have been the two or 300 milliwatts. Now, Amazon sells the EMF 390 for 148 from GQ Electronics based in Seattle. And if you go to our website, stfnreport.com, or our Facebook page, STFN Reloaded, uh, you'll find a link to the EMF 390, and you can find out all about 
um, you know, what it does, what the, you know, what people think of it, what the safety guidelines are according to the bio initiative safety standards. Uh, you can look at some of the, um, you know, other important information that's there. And there's a lot there for you to consider. And look, we, we recommend that you shop around, but you'll be back. And when you do, just click on the order now button and that'll bring you directly to GQ Electronics and you'll be ordering uh, through them uh, with our affiliate price of $129. So you actually get it for about $20 cheaper uh, through us than through Amazon. And it ships out from Seattle. You, it's, you know, it's at your door in about two or three days. This is what the order form looks like. And you know, there you can check out the reviews on Amazon. You know, there's uh, it's like 97% positive. We've never had anybody neg uh, come back saying that they were displeased with it uh, on our website. You can check out our fake book, and it's got you know nothing but positive reviews. People love this thing. It works and it's affordable you know so you can spend you know 150 200 300 400 dollars or you can get it for 129 uh through our affiliate program so you know get it while supplies last and uh you know while the price remains that low because i'm sure it'll go up it, we were selling them at 109 last year and uh, because of you know all the shipping of parts and everything it's gone up to 129 so get them now while you can and uh find out what you're getting dosed with it's the first step in reducing your exposure because it is dangerous and there's you know more more and more of these death towers out there ladies and gentlemen so do your research shop around and learn how you can fight back but getting a meter is the first step we appreciate everybody tuning in till the next time ladies and gentlemen if you're listening to this you are the resistance